Shalom. I want to give all praise unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Brakati Yahweh, Brakati Yahweh Shai. Give double honors to the apostle elders, which are the apostle elders that rule the great millstone. Um, real quick video. I seen this. Uh, I seen this video some days ago, but you know, you know how uh, slavery does. You don't get to get around to it. But uh, this right here is to show you, man. The Lord is intensifying these demons and this demonic presence here, so we can destroy it. Because it says that this is what modern day Sodom and Gomorrah, it's Egypt, it's all, it's a, it's a compilation of all of these different um, wicked, wicked uh, uh, rulerships. He enrolled up in one. All right, Egypt, um, what, what, Babylon, all these different things are, are rolled up in one. So I'm gonna play this video and I'm gonna go into some scriptures. And uh, Lord willing, this is edifying to you, Akim. So check this out, man. This place is getting more. Because I told brothers uh, about Sodom and Gomorrah, right? They got violent, man. The one, the one characteristic of Sodom and Gomorrah, as we read the scriptures, is they were violent with it. Because as documentary, I watched that Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, the people of Sodom, they would take you if you came there to like do a purchase or something like that. Or if they caught you, they would rape you and put you in like a cage above the, uh, the square and torture you, pretty much starve you to death. Like that place was hella wicked, man. They were raped. And you already see the story when you read about the angels. They were wanting to rape those men. OK, and they were just passerby. So that showed the type of city that was. So I'm going to play this and show you that the spirit of Sodom and Gomorrah is getting heavier and heavier here. It's more than just somebody. Oh, I'm coming out the closet and I'm just this and that. No. They're getting violent, man. Okay, and you're getting you're getting ready to see this in this video. Anyway, we ain't dealing with these Bible busters because they off anyway. They shouldn't be in the midst of that madness. But you see this sodomite here with devil horns on. So they're showing you where their spirit comes from and their spirit lies with. OK, they're, 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 they come from the left left hand side, which is Satan. OK. didn't the lord didn't say anything about that about homosexuality right i gotta cut this degenerate real quick man that's why we're set for a defense of this gospel if you ain't out here defending it move on man move on okay this is matthew 10 because the lord didn't say anything about sodom right the the the, the world the world in that time knew why the, the place got destroyed just like you know Vegas, what do they say? What what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, right? This is the book of Matthew 10 and verse 15. And it's a red Bible and it's in red. And it says, Verily I say unto you, it is more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. What city? This city, Babylon the Great. That's what's going to be judged. And it says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. I send you forth, so like it, behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Ye be, be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Because there's going to be a time, you, 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 you demons, you can, you can have your time of frolicking, but the Lord is going to change us in a minute, man. It's not going to be nice. So I just had to cut that, man. Back to this madness.
fucking place, man. Man, the Lord's going to destroy this place, man. It's coming, man. We ain't going to drop tears for this fucking place, man. Let me get these scriptures, man. This shit pisses you off, man. I, they, they, that's the spirit that's coming on them. Now they're getting violent, man. Now it's not all love and they're they getting violent with it. They're cursing out the Bible. They're trying to throw uh, a slanders at the Bible. They don't care. So why, watch what the Lord going to do. Y'all messing with the right one, man. They messing with the right one. This is Isaiah 3 and verse 9. And it says, the, uh, it says, they show their continents, doth, it says, the, the show of their continents doth witness against them. And they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their souls. And that word woe means destruction. So the Lord said, woe, the, by the prophet Isaiah, he said, woe, destruction unto their souls. For they have rewarded evil unto themselves. It says, say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with them, with him, for the reward of his hand shall be given him. See that? So the Most High is getting, getting ready to award you, 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 you degenerates, man. You, you, see, you, you don't, you get mad, man. But you know what? We're just going to use the scriptures to cut this madness, and then I'm, I'm closing out. It's the book of Jeremiah 23 and, seven and uh, 14. It's the Jeremiah 23 and verse 14. And it says, I have, uh, it says, I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem in horrible things. They commit adultery, walk in lies. They strengthen also the hand of evildoers that none doth return from his wickedness. They are all, it says, they are all of them unto me as Sodom and the inhabitants, therefore, as Gomorrah. Because the Lord is getting ready to destroy two-thirds of his people, man. Okay? Because some of these are jakes out here, man. Okay? They're jakes. Now I'm going to read the violenceness of Sodom and Gomorrah to show you that this is a place coming back all over again. This is the book of Genesis 19. This is Genesis um, 19 and... It's Genesis 19 and 3. I'm going to start at 3. And it says, And he pressed... Upon them, uh, I'll start at one. And there came two angels to Sodom at Eve, at Eve, uh, uh, Eve, yeah, Eve. And Lot sat in the gate of Sodom, and Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them. And he bowed himself with his face towards the ground. And he said, Behold, now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, in, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet. And ye shall rise up early and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all, all night. And he oppressed them, and he pressed upon them greatly. And so Lot was like, Don't do this. Come come to my house. Please come to my house. Uh, 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 Baba Kasha, come to my house. It says, Behold, now, Lord, turn ye, I pray and pray you, into your servant's house and tarry all night and wash your feet. And ye shall rise up early and go your way. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. And he oppressed upon them greatly, and he turned in unto him and entered into his house. And he made them a feast and did break unleavened bread, and they did eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, come past the house round about both old and young. So there were, so there were old and young Sodomites in there, man, just like you see today. All people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came in thee this night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. They wanted to rape the men. And Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him and said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Behold now, because being a sodomite is a wicked, wicked thing. Behold, now I have two daughters which have not known man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you and do ye to them as is good in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing. For therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. And they said, stand back 
And they said, uh, said again, this one fellow came in to sojourn and he will need to be a judge. Now will we deal worse with thee than with them? And he said, they're going to rape him too. It says, and they pressed sore upon men, even Lot, and came near to break the door. But the men put forth their hand and pulled Lot into the house to them and shut the door. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great. And they were weary themselves to find the door. And, and it's a spiritual thing because it blinded them, right? So it's the same thing you see today. The Most High has put a blind on these people's eyes. So they can't see the truth and the wisdom and knowledge and understanding to get to, to, to stop that madness. Okay, they blinded them physically, but then now they're spiritually, they came back spiritually blind. All right. And, the, and they came back in their lot to be in the, in the homosexuality and being devious. Okay, so the Most High is getting ready to do some real life damage. You're going to see. Okay, you're going to meet the King of Terrors and he don't play nice, man. All right. So with that, I'm going to give all praise unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Brock it to Yahweh, Brock it to Yahweh Shai. Brock it to Yahweh, Brock it to Yahweh Shai. Brock it to Yahweh, Brock it to Yahweh Shai. Shalom, Akim. Keep faith.